What's going on dudes and dudettes, Major Pineapple here. Today we are playing Cube 2. I never played the first Cube. I wanted it so, so bad when it was on the Wii U. I think it was on the Wii U, I don't really know. But now I finally get the chance to play Cube 2. <laughs> Alright, so all that I really know is it's a puzzle game. It's supposed to be like Portal with cubes instead of portals. I don't really know, honestly. I'm sorry. Oh, Alright, so it looks like we're waking up on... Mars. I I want to I want to see if I can pause it, but like I'm afraid that like it will completely cancel everything and we'll be totally lost. All right, so I'm controlling it. Oh, so all right, that was a cutscene. All right. Yes. Oh, I love subtitles. Especially doing these, like I have my TV set to like number four on volume, and like I can't hear at all really. Ooh, this is actually kind of cool. That totally reminded me of like Shadow Dimensions or Edge of Time or The Amazing Spider-Man when you die, like you just see your arm. Like, I don't know why, I always thought that was kind of cool. Those games are awesome. Let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see me play The Amazing Spider-Man games. Cause I'm not gonna lie, it's a total guilty pleasure of mine. I love how in FPS games, they just have the character doing this. Like, does anyone actually ever walk around like in Target getting groceries like, this looks pretty good, actually, all things considered. Even on the Switch, like, I like the way this looks. Mm, some of the... It's a little fuzzy, but it's manageable. I bet it looks a lot better handheld, though. This looks cool. I like this. I like it through. I can't. It's too dark over there. It's scary. Maybe if I go to where I was and go the other direction, I'll have more success. Even though this big, gigantic snake is here. So I'm like, oh, maybe that's the way to go through. <gasps> no. It's going the other direction too. All right, I'll have to go back. Maybe if I just keep going straight then. Ah! What? Why did I think of going straight? It's too dark. This game is too dark. <laughs> I can't see. We're making great progress right now, dudes and dudettes. Do I just... What the? <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. All right, that, that was sick. That was tight. Okay. All right. I dig this. <laughs> I really like this. Yeah, it's just portal with cubes. All right, looks. This looks like a boxing ring right now. And in this corner, we're having a cube. All right. Some of the controls are a little weird. Like I just have a difference between the ZL and ZR. But other than that, the game controls really well. I don't know why, but I love the way the game looks. Not the graphics, but like, well, the graphics are fine, but the art style and like, just the atmosphere. <laughs> it's great. Hey, future me, put up the release date of this game. Wow, it's that old? No way. This would be awesome in VR. This would be so good in VR. All right, so I'm going through these chapters pretty quickly. I hope this isn't just like a one hour adventure because this game retails for 20 bucks, but I got it on sale for like three bucks. It's like the structure itself can duplicate and grow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. It's cool seeing the way all these things interact. I am digging this quite a bit. One eternity later. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Ooh, pretty-ish. Looks like total abstergo, honestly. Like from the Assassin's Creed movie, which was... We don't talk about the Assassin's Creed movie. Do we unlock the color green now? Oh, I bet we unlock the color green! Yes! <laughs> I'm way too excited to unlock the color green. All right, so what does the green cube do? Does it just produce another random cube? Oh, okay. Thought that would have been a little cooler, but it looks great. Oh, no, I totally see how to do it now. Nope, I don't. <laughs> all right, so, all right, I get it now. No, no, wait, no, I won't let this beat me. All right, I'm probably doing it the, the longest way. No, that was the right way. Tell you! I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 
Uh, I, I've got a theory I want to do, and I don't think it's going to work. Nope. All right. There we are. But no! Boom! Yes. Oh, good. All right. That was actually probably the best one, I think. That was the most fun. Oh, no! All right. I totally forgot the process I was going with. All right, there we go. Feels pretty good solving these puzzles, I'm not gonna lie. What? What is this? Take me. Take me. My heart beats. But I want it to beat for you. I want to become one. This thing's a little She's weird, man. I'm out of here. Dude, I am gone. Where's the door? Oh, there it is. All right, I am gone, bro. If I saw that in real life, I'd go Buck 20, completely in the opposite direction. I don't know if the first cube game really had a story, because like I just thought it was like puzzles. I kind of like how this has a story. It's not like an incredible story, but like at least it's a story. Oh, I'm a sleepy bear. <laughs> like it seems to be a physical transportation machine, an elevator or monorail that ascends. Or so an elevator. It's opened one of the doors. What are you going to do? I'm gonna go through it. Real quick, dudes and dudettes, let me know down in the comment section below, are you enjoying Cube 2? Also, let me know down in the comment section below, what are some games you want to see me check out? I always feel like whenever I turn around, because the, the turning is so slow in this game, I feel like whenever I turn around, there's gonna be like a weird monster that's gonna scare me. The puzzles here are really good, I'm not gonna lie. If you're a puzzle game fan, then you'll definitely like this. Ugh, sorry if I seem a little low on energy, I'm just kinda sleepy right now. It's weird. Okay. Uh, let's hope this carries me over. Whoa. <laughs> that was so cool. Whoa. I love this game. This is tight. Wow, that looks very just not good at all. Whoa. All right. Uh. uh ah! Whoa. All right. I love this game. This is so much fun. <laughs> huh. I feel like the answer is like right in front of me and I'm just not seeing it clearly. Oh, I get it. I get it. I got it. I got it. Watch me. Watch me. I got this. Did that not work? I got it now. I got it. That's a ruse. Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I told you I got it. I told you I got this. I told you I got this. Y'all doubted me. Did I do this one? No. I've lost track of what I've done in this game so far. Let's just ride the green wave. Woo! All right. Ooh. All right. It looks like everything is all turned on. Sick. And it looks really cool. I'm loving the colors too. All right, dudes and dudettes. This looks like a great place to leave off. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Indie Drive-By. And I bet you're wondering, what is Indie Drive-By? Well, I'm glad you asked. Indie Drive-By, I'm going to be looking at various indie games on the Nintendo eShop along with the PlayStation Store. Of course, me being who I am, I definitely have a lot more games on my Switch rather than on my PS4. And I thought it'd just be a fun way to go through them, play them, see how I like it, and bring you guys along with me. Anyway, dudes and dudettes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click that like and subscribe button. And let me know down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy Cube 2? Did you play the first Cube? And what are some other games I should play on Indie Drive-By? Anyway, dudes and dudettes, I will actually be posting from now on on Wednesdays. It's a lot easier for my schedule, so I'm kind of going back to what I was originally doing when I first brought the channel back. So, new videos on Wednesdays. Major Pineapple, out.